This is Candy Cauldron at Disney Springs. And a happy baby in the background. So they have Jack Skellington Rice Krispie Treats. I'm assuming these are Rice Krispie Treats as well. Just covered in chocolate. A mummy. And then a Mickey Jack-O-Lantern. Happiest place on earth. Yeah, good. Hi guys, we are at Disney Springs right now, um, having a sit down, and he just went and got a Starbucks. Yeah, so we're on the west side right now. And he's very excited about There's it. There's a balloon over there. The Starbucks on this side of Disney Springs is like my favorite Starbucks. Of all time. Of all time. It's just a very cool looking Starbucks. But then I got this, which is, I like nitro cold brews. This is a, um, so so here's the story. They have a custom menu that they do um, and they regularly make their own drinks that are that have been featured on Disney Food Blog, which is very cool. The barista told me all this. This is called the Fall. She's very friendly and very talkative. <laughs> yeah, she's very friendly. I just walked in for a second and she like, Talk to me well, I told her I wanted to tell you about their drinks, and I took pictures of their the drink menus that they made um, because I said my wife will want to come and have something. She's like, oh, she was all excited. So then when you came, she, in, I don't she like was coffee. just excited to meet you, like we're old friends. Right? I like we're old friends. So anyway, I like nitro cold brews, but this is called the Fall into Nitro. You can only get it at this Starbucks. Although you could probably like have them customize it for you somewhere else. It's a pumpkin nitro cold brew with chai, sweet cream, cold foam. It's very good. But, I tried it. It is good. I don't know if you can see this at all. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. So they make their own boards with drink menus on them. Um, right now they have a lot of spooky specials. So they I'm said. Have to look at those. I said I wanted to get something like maybe for tomorrow and just keep it in the room overnight. Yeah. So I'll just give you an example here. So they said the scary berry is very good. A ghostly green kiwi star fruit lemonade with fresh oogly blueberry eyeballs. So it has blueberries Ooh. floating in it. They said they actually ran out of blueberries today because that drink is so popular. And she said, it's just not the same without the blueberries. <laughs> I said I would spend probably most of my time coming up with the fun names and she said, was like, oh, we do. So you could maybe post these on your Facebook page if you're interested. Siren um, Sistas for Appuccino. Yeah, Siren Sistas for Appuccino, Freaky for Appuccino, Witch's Brew, Apple Pie for Appuccino, Pumpkin Pie for Appuccino, Caramel Apple Delight. Those are the custom drinks that they made for fall and Halloween. So we might have to try one. They said when new Disney movies come out, they'll make drinks inspired by that movie. She said their Iron Man one was very good. Is Iron Man a Disney movie? Or is it just a Marvel? movie? Marvel? Is it Marvel? It must be. Sorry, we're not into like that side of Disney so much as, well, the parks. <clears throat> Avengers? We're like right across from a Marvel superhero. No, we're right across from the Marvel Sorry. superhero headquarters. Right. Seems like an important place. I have, my, I have a mask going in my eyeball. So. There we go. You are key to this video. Very good. Uh, so we're in Disney Springs tonight. Um, we spent the day, or our park today was Hollywood Studios which we have a hard time making that into a full day park. And today the lines were very long. Um, we had two park passes for Hollywood Studios this time. Wouldn't do it again. Yeah, so. It was a waste. So we left a little early today. We left after lunch. We took a, we took a swim and a nap. And now we are doing an evening at Disney Springs. And we will vlog some of our, well, I already have this drink in my hand. I have to actively be drinking to. Um have my mask off but we'll br we'll bring you along for we're some at a of the table stuff. with a drink on it i think we'll be fine and we're in the middle of nowhere um but yeah it was kind of disappointing at hollywood studios because of the lines and the social distancing we didn't get to do tower Tour, which okay this is our third time here this year so no <laughs> right first world problems right first world problems we did get to do, um, we did wait in line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Right. The posted wait time at the time, that was at park opening, was 105 minutes. We didn't pay attention to how long it was. It wasn't 105 minutes. It was I would say, hour. yeah, it was less than an hour. Um, Santa um, And then, so we did that. 
and there were mask issues with the people in front of us. That was a pain. Had to be talked to three times by cast members. So they, okay, yeah, they were talked to twice by cast members, and then the dad left to go get like churros and snacks and things like that. And like many people, they weren't standing like shoulder to shoulder, like on their like please wait here line. So if we had stood right on the next line, we would have been way closer than six feet to them, right? Um, and they weren't wearing their masks because they're eating. And so this cast member comes through and was rather brusque and she's like, please keep up with the party in front of you. To us, like telling us like we, like we were the problem that we weren't keeping up with them. And I said, so that's when I was like, they're not, no, they're not wearing masks. Like, and then I felt kind of bad because it like sounded like I was like telling on them and the, that wasn't my point. My point was like, there's no rule against eating in line. They say like, you can eat and drink while stationary. You don't have to be sitting. You just have to be stationary. So they were really milking it though. Like they, oh, mm, they had their masks off. But that I, was it was kind of like me before when I was had my mask off just now and I wasn't drinking. Okay, anything. but that wasn't my point to the cast member. I was just saying, I'm not gonna go less than, and I don't think she should be telling me to get less than six feet away from them when they're not wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. That's not, like that's against Disney regulation. And I don't think she knew. So I was just telling her like, no, I'm not getting that close. The reason I'm not doing that is because they're not wearing masks. And then she's like, they're not wearing masks. And she goes over and there's four of them. And like two of them were already done, mind you, at this point. But they hadn't put their masks on. And they hadn't put their masks on. And this was the third time they had been talked to. The previous two times, like t the kids were wearing masks like this. So they had been talked to. And then I don't remember what the deal was the second time. It, anyway, it was the third time, so they got talked to. But then, when I said that, the cast member said, like, quite loudly, she goes, oh, they're not wearing masks? So it was, like, obvious that, like, I'm telling on them. I'm right. like, really? Now I have to stand, She could have like, been a little bit better. Right about. behind them for, like, the next 45 minutes. Yeah. 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 Now, I would say mask compliance is still very, very good overall. I would say, like, 98 to 99% mask compliance. The biggest issue that you see is people like this. Um, but there are announcements and signs all over the place saying like if you don't wear your mask over if you refuse to comply with wearing your mask over your nose and mouth you will be asked to leave the biggest problem by far that we've seen was at the food and wine festival I don't think they should have had it this year because the point of the food and wine festival is to like walk around and eat and drink and I don't You're not really allowed to do that I don't understand how people how you get to the point of being physically there at the food and wine festival and you don't know the rules. You have, at that point, you have seen so many signs, you've heard so many announcements that you have to be stationary. We saw another fam a different family in like the future world part of Epcot yesterday. They were like eating and walking around eating popcorn and a cast member yelled, let me see, yell at them, but like, you know, she kind of yelled to them and was like, you guys you have to be stationary. And the dad didn't get it. And then the mom understood and then she explained to For them the like- health and safety of everyone, Face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth. Here's what they're saying. And you want at all times, except when actively eating or drinking while stationary. Guests that do not comply will be asked to leave. Wash your hands often like, and thoroughly. What part of that cover is not mouth and nose under right. easy to understand? Eating or drinking while stationary. Distance. Thank you for your cooperation. So, like, these people that aren't wearing their masks and they're walking around slowly munching on popcorn, like, you can't do that. You're exposing everybody to your COVID exhalations knock it off so again minor problem i don't think like you should come here and feel like super unsafe or anything i don't feel that way no but it's definitely not as good as it was in august when we were here i don't think it's that percentage wise i don't think it's worse i think the reason there's is more people there's here. more people now right and it's more difficult for example the woman exactly across from us her mask is below her nose next to her her mask is completely under her chin they can they might be eating and drinking right now i'm not sure not actively but he, here's the thing i'll tell you the thing because there's a thing the guy didn't understand what the cast member was saying to him so his wife explained it like you can like you have to be stationary and he said and then he says this is an adult with children and he says so what that means i got to be sitting down and she says yes First of all, since when does stationary mean sitting down? Second of all, like you're a grown adult who has procreated and you don't know what the word stationary means, like that's a whole separate issue. But you don't understand these rules. I mean, I, it's just, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. And 
for some reason, this whole thing has become politicized in America. That's what's frustrating. It's not, it's not political. It's science. It's wearing masks largely is to protect other people. And when you see other people not doing it, it's like, they don't care if I get sick. Here's my last thing I will say about masks. Did you know that when you talk on the phone, <laughs> you can still wear your mask and they can still hear so you. So many people take their mask off to talk on the phone. It's unreal. It's like, why are they doing that? Did you also know that, so they had talked about this a lot in the beginning that um, if you are, wearing a mask it is largely to but that it is to protect other people it's not for your own protection it's to protect other people however the idea is also that it will reduce your own viral load so it does protect you some and if you have a lower viral load um you are less like you are it's like you said before if you like put pepper on your food oh no i said you salt put, so whatever but it's i like salt. I, okay fine salt if you put a little bit of salt on your food, your the odds of you getting a bite with not very much salt are better than if you put a ton of salt on your food. I mean, it's a pretty simple concept. Right. Lower viral load, your body can handle it better. You're not going to get as sick. And your body is going to be able to make antibodies to match that viral load better and faster, more adequately than if you have a massive amount of, you know, of the viral load. Trust so, her, she's a scientist, for real. I am. So, should we talk about what we're gonna do tonight? A little bit of shopping. Are we gonna get some dinner? I don't know. I if we don't get dinner, I would like to get a Wetzel pretzel. I was thinking about it. I was also thinking of possibly getting that salad again from our hotel because those are really good salad. I mean, not that we necessarily don't, we can do either, we can do both, like, one whatever. Thing, we're gonna mosey. One thing I'm considering, as we walked in, I noticed, so when you come to Disney Springs at night, they have all these bar carts all over the place. Like you can get booze wherever. Look, for example, that one, that one says hot one diggity there? dogs and they sell hot dogs. Oh, no, there's actually a bar cart like right over there though. Um, oh. So they are selling like fun Halloween style drinks. So I thought maybe I would get a fun cocktail. We'll see. You got my fun Starbucks. Got to follow it up with a fun cocktail. You're really gonna have to pee. Um, <laughs> That's true. What was I gonna say? Oh, okay, I said we were gonna mosey. So, since he's still drinking his drink and you're supposed to oh, be I stationary. Gotta, I should, I should. No, it's fine. Um, I mean, we can always pull over, it's not a big deal. But, I have to share. So, I came to Disney quite a bit, Disney World, as a wee lass. He did not. My father, who sadly is no longer alive, was a huge, 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 huge Disney fan, which is why like this is such a special place for me. And those were in the good old days where when the park opened, you could run and not care about your safety or anybody else's safety. And like, you could like- Those days have been pretty recent. Like, I mean, we used to do that. Yeah. It was better though, because I was really little and he was over six feet tall and like, he could like wow through people. It was great. So, um, those were great days. You could, you know, he could like clear a crowd and then like have little kids running after him. It was great. So then when we came on our honeymoon, um, which was in June of 2009, they were still allowing running or maybe a slow jog perhaps. Um, they allowed that for a couple years. Then, we were then we transitioned to the race walk look up olympic race walking got to keep one foot on the ground um, i've mentioned a couple times like we are super 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 into the olympics we actually had tickets to go to the olympics this year and because 2020 has ruined everybody's lives the olympics got postponed i mean we didn't have tickets for race walking but anyway look up olympic race walking and don't have anything in your mouth like don't be drinking anything when you watch it it's hysterical but i mean those people are like pretty ba they're amazing so then we transitioned to Olympic level race walking for safety purposes. Then, because people still somehow are getting injured, they want you to move at a snail's pace. And when you get into Frontierland, they have this spiel. And so I'm horrified, right? That like seeing the progression 
the progression of man at Disney World of like, we have gone from every man for himself to slow jog to race walk to snail's pace. And then the Frontierland workers are saying, um, here in Frontierland, we don't like to walk, we like to mosey. So, you know, we get in there, they stop us. We get into the park, they stop us at Frontierland with a rope and they're like, we run the rides, the rides can't run without us. You guys have to stay behind us and we will walk you to the rides because people would still run or go too quickly to the rides and people would get hurt. I don't know why people are getting hurt all the time. I feel like I am most likely to get hurt in all situations and even I managed to not get hurt. So we were, this was a couple of trips ago. Mind you, horrifying. This was this year. I think this, this was, was February. Recently. This was February. This was recently. So. <clears throat> Mind you, whenever I hear this, I'm horrified because it brings the me. The We Like to Mosey then? Yes, the We Like to Mosey yeah, because like it brings. We want to get to the. It brings me back mountain. to the days of following my dad running. And when you're. I'm sure he was like jogging, but he's over six feet tall and I'm, you know, like six years old and not like I'm tall now. I'm like 5'2. So now as an adult and I was six. Okay. So this guy, this Frontierland worker, misspeaks but he says here in Frontierland we don't like to walk we don't even like to mosey and the look on your face pure horror I was like <laughs> I was like what on earth is happening like what is worse than oh, moseying God, that was so funny. what is slower than moseying you I didn't break from this I did not I'm actually okay my arm is down here oh I did not know what was happening I was so horrified. I didn't know if I was going to be able to carry on. It was awful. It was awful, you guys. So, and then he's like, he realized he misspoke and then he corrected himself. So it was fine. But I had a minute. I had like a small cerebral event. I couldn't take it. It was pretty, it was pretty awful for me. Like a hardcore Disney nut, like go, go, go. I'm, I'm the reason people have shirts that say like, I'm only a morning person at Disney World. Like, yeah, that's totally me. It was, it was unreal. So. That we just should. Reminded me of that. When I said yes. when I said we were gonna mosey, that's I had to tell that story. Before we mosey, we should do a shout out to your outfit because you are very like. I got it on Etsy. I don't even remember. It says, "Oh boy." Yep. And then you got like the shorts and the, the whole thing, and then you got the matching magic band. You're very colorful today. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm rocking the standard Mickey T. And. And uh. Well, that's my. Apple Watch. Right, but it's like... Oh, just plain. Yeah, the gray shorts and the mask from my high school that I work at, but it's very comfortable. It's good for the pointy nose. I think he looks like he is um, dealing with a plague of sorts, like those old-fashioned plague masks. Okay, we're going to go... Um, Mosey, Mosey, right? While, We've established this. While that's still allowed, and we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for visiting. Okay, we have since moseyed. We are now still trying to find the entrance to World of Disney. Oh, I Did we, which one is the entrance? Must be this way. Um, I just got spit on by Stitch under the World of Disney thing. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Um, I mentioned in a previous video, which I don't know how these are going up, but... There are 3,000 entrances and exits to every building. But Disney right now is, they're only allowing so many people in a store at one time to allow for social distancing. So, or physical distancing as Disney's saying. So, um, as people leave, they're like counting how many people are leaving and then they'll let that number of people in. Um, so because of that, they can only allow so many people. They, ha they have to monitor um, the entries and exits. So you'll see a gazillion doors and they'll say exit only, exit only, exit only. And that's why. Because they have to count the number of people. And it can be kind of frustrating, but I understand why they do it. So, 
oh, look, it's that job. This is Basin. They have all their fun soaps. But now we're, yeah, we're in line to go to World of Disney. They said it's about a 10 minute line. I don't know how you can really predict, but we've discovered that when it's raining, it's gonna be a lot longer because people aren't willing to leave. Yeah. We discovered that at Dur Teddy Bear. <laughs> Yesterday. Yeah. In Epcot. Yeah, we went to Legos now. Oh, a longer line than I thought. Yeah, it does go a bit further. It was like a snake behind. This is like the old bus loop, isn't it? Yeah, it is, you're right. The old bus loop. Yeah, sort of bus and like everybody stays drop. spread it out. So that's what we're doing. We're in line. So we just got in World of Disney. I would say it was about 10 minutes, 10-ish minutes. I didn't check the time, but tie-dye is in, apparently. I'm on trend. Um, this is usually a very, very busy store, so I'm kind of liking this. Breathe the yummy scented Mickey Bubbles. I don't know why I'm in this section. This is like the little children's section. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know why I'm still in this section, I guess is my point. Um, this is the little girls section. Let's go to a different section. Oh, cool, look what they did to their chandeliers. And look at the wall, the leaves on the wall. Yep. Those are neat. Even the colors of the lights up here. Like oh, the yeah. The and the green. They must change those colors seasonally. So they have, they redid the store somewhat relatively recently. Um, it's so huge. It's so cool. Oh, these have little like stones on them. I get a pair of leggings every trip now, recently. Apparently I just decided um, I could totally get these just in a bigger size. They're like, these are girls sizes. Um, normally I get the adults version, but yeah, these are, you can tell like princess things and apparently Sven's. Um, and then Puggles, so they're all the um, stuffed, stuffed things. And then they have boys things over there. So yeah, we don't really buy souvenirs for little children that often. So we don't generally go in this area. I just saw this the other day. I thought that looks like it would be really fun. I haven't played Battleship since like fifth grade, but I thought that looked cool. I love this middle section. I always look here. Lounge fly. I love their designs. I have a, like a pouch type of thing. Big surprise, I have a million of them. The zipper broke and it wasn't that old. So I was kind of disappointed because it's it's kind of expensive. I mean, it's not like designer expensive, but like this backpack is $75, which is not cheap. I mean, I don't know. I realize it could be a lot more, but. not exactly like Walmart prices. Oh, and yeah, they have um, Halloween Crocs. They have a, an actual Crocs store here. Oh, look, are these, oh, is this, no, it's not removable. Really it's like a permanent widget. Yeah, I don't think you can move it. Yeah, I'm not doing well in case you haven't um, learned with the try not to touch things. Yeah, but I want to see. Oh, oh, look at the print on the inside. That's funny. That's for where you put um, your coins when there isn't a national coin shortage. My, um, I have a pair of sweatpants similar to these. I imagine it's just like a different design. They're like burnout style. Oh yes, those. And Aaron was just telling me the other day, he's like, you need new ones. Like these are like pretty much see-through, but they were pretty see-through when I got them. They're like, I mean, you can tell, like they're pretty, I mean, they're super thin. Like that's just how they are. 
um, which means they're comfortable and they're light and that's kind of what I wanted. But this stitching wasn't great. I noticed it as soon as I got it home. I think I don't blame the manufacturer on that. I mean, I think I just got a bum hair. Yes, I, I don't think they're all bad is my point. I think it was just like, I happened to just get like a one bum hair. Okay, here's, here's the thing. I have Ooh. another thing, you guys. I'll tell you this thing. Tell me if this isn't weird that they're selling these fans now. I don't, I mean, it's a, Shit. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Okay, I think, I think it's a really cool concept and I'm not that paranoid, but they're following all these CDC guidelines and everything right now. Wouldn't you think it would be against some kind of regulation to be like fanning yourself when you're in close well, proximity of, with others like your COVID air when people are clearly doing a poor job of wearing masks? I just, I'm just surprised that, you wanna open these? I think this is the, is that an orange bird? This gotta be an orange bird. I am obsessed with the Florida orange bird. Is that not the cutest thing ever? It's so adorable. I like to do the big reveals and open them you're real quick. You're gonna rip one, be careful. Okay, you're, you're, you're really gonna rip one. And then it's gonna be a, you break it, you buy it. Oh, uh, I think this is the, I think this is shade again, yeah. Yeah. And if you break five of those, they're all coming out of your personal recreation budget. Your five shades, because you insist on, or your five fans, I'm uh, yeah, dramatically <laughs> opening them. Like, that's how they do look it. at these little shoes. These look like they would rub terribly, but they're cute. I love these. So I got, no, my sister got one, I think, for herself one time. Um, a similar one in a different print, but it's like, it's a wallet for cards. Um, I haven't seen this print before, though, where it's the Mickey bar, Mickey ice cream bar. Excuse me, Mickey premium ice cream bar? Yes. This one is cool with the, oh, um, yeah, the small world print. Thank you. <laughs> I was clearly sure. And they have... Star Wars, and then there's a Toy Story, the Toy Story ball over there, and they have these bows. Oh look, shoes. Shoes, not for slippers, shoes. Right, for everyday wear. You're Mickey Mouse. and she's loved every every time and then she goes I don't like that kind anymore I've talked about this. I can't see in my camera. So it's Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at the nose. In the movie, his nose is a glowing jack-o'-lantern. Okay. Can you see that? And, oh, it doesn't pick it up on camera. You can just see that it's orange. In person, you can see the tiniest pumpkin. Like, you can see the face of the pumpkin. It's the cutest thing ever. And then it must be like, yeah, it's like this leather or fake leather bat color. Aaron, look look real up close, you can see the jack-o'-lantern face on Zero's nose. Oh my god. Isn't that great? And here's a Jack Skellington necklace. I thought it was the feather duster from Beauty and the Beast at first. So my um, vlogging hand is getting tired, so I'm going to set it down, but this is what this is what it looks like. This is what we're seeing at World of Disney right now. I'll show you guys later if we get anything. We are now in Goofy's Candy Company. And you can get things custom made. And we found this Rice Krispie pie. I'm not sure if it's like just solid Rice Krispies inside. It looks like pumpkin flavor or something or other. They have apples. A Jack Skellington apple. I just got some of this, this mix um, at World of Disney. A bunch of different apple cider mixes. They have all kinds of like candies and sweets and 
dessert things, but you can see some of their apples. And like I said, you can get them custom made. helps us when we're gone um she really likes goofy's this goofy um character gummies and we don't totally understand why i think it's a nostalgia thing it must be because to us they just taste like gummy candies but we always get her some what as like a thank you when we come back among other we're gonna get her something else too but we're getting her a couple bags of these because she loves them Yes. So, let's see. What are we? What do you want to do about it? Do you want? I think we have to decide, and we can let them know. We okay. have some discussion to do. Okay, we'll let you know. Done the apple pie apple. And then there's my. And she got one of those miniature purple cookies. It's the size of your face. It's not so miniature. 